Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to highlight an entire row of fields, which we call a record in Microsoft Access, in a continuous form. You can see right here, we're going to highlight the entire row, and the field that you're in will highlight a slightly different color. Looks pretty cool, huh? Today's question comes from Frank, one of my YouTube members, a Silver member. He posted this in the developer forum on my website. Frank says, with a continuous form, how do I make the background color of every field in the row or record change to the same background color just by clicking on any of them regardless of the content? I would just like users to know which row of data they're on at a glance without squinting at the screen. All right, so I'm actually going to give the win on this one to one of my moderators, Scott. He posted a solution, an answer to this question uh, a little over two weeks ago. And this just goes to prove, folks, if you have a question and you want to see it get solved relatively quickly, post it in the forums on my website. Don't email it to me and don't post it on YouTube because I only check that maybe once a week. And I'm the only one that can check the YouTube account. Post it on my forum. I got six moderators. They're awesome. They answer questions a whole lot faster than I can. Scott posted a perfectly working solution. It works great. I'm going to make one little tweak to it. But aside from that, this is a fantastic solution and it works. And uh, I'll post a link to this thread down below if you want to go check it out. Now, before we get started, if you've never used conditional formatting before, go watch my conditional formatting video first. This is essential. And in fact, in this video, I show you how to highlight a single field when someone clicks on it. And today we're going to expand that to the entire row. In order to do that, you're going to also need to know how the expression is option works. Go watch this video. This is a developer level video, so we are going to need a little VBA programming. So if you've never done any VBA before, go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long, teaches you everything you need to know to get started. Don't panic though, we literally only need one line of code today. The important thing is where we put that code. And where are we gonna put it? Well, we're gonna put it in the on current event for the form which is my little tweak that I'm making the Scott solution. These are all free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go and watch those and come on back. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download off my website if you'd like to. And in here, I have a continuous form with all of my customers, the customer list. And I can double click to open up one of these guys. Okay, now it's very easy to make it so that when you click on a field, that field gets highlighted. Let's review that real quick. Design view select all of these fields, go to format, conditional formatting, make sure it says multiple here, new rule, field has focus, and then let's change it to maybe yellow. Hit okay, hit okay, close it, save it, open it up again, and you can see as I move around, whatever field I'm in is highlighted yellow. All right, now, Using expression is, I can say, okay, regardless of which field I'm in, I want to say if the customer ID is equal to the customer ID of the current record that I'm on, I want to highlight that field. So if this state is on customer ID of the customer ID that I'm on, highlight that field as well, right? That makes sense, right? Logically in your brain. Okay, so let's do that. Let's select all these. Go back to format, conditional formatting. I'm going to delete this rule, delete it. All right, let's make a new rule. This time we're going to use expression is, okay? And I'm going to say if the customer ID equals the customer ID that I'm on, then let's change this to yellow. Hit okay. All right, hit okay. Close it, save it, open it, and ah, what happened? Everybody's highlighted now. What's going on? Well, there are a couple of issues at play here. Let's take a look at the first one, all right? If you look at the conditional formatting for all of these fields again, go to format, conditional formatting, you'll see it's gone. What happened? I don't know, that's weird. Let's check this out. Cancel this, let's take a look at one of them. Let's take a look at just customer ID, format, conditional formatting. All right, there it is. And notice access put customer ID inside of brackets. Now. I always tell you don't use spaces in your field names because nine times out of 10, you'll be okay, all right? Um, this is one of those times out of 10 where you're not okay because watch what happens. Customer ID is fine because that's the name of the field, right? Take a look at first name. 
initial formatting. Look at that. Access was trying to be helpful, but it made customer ID a string. And in this particular case, a string containing customer ID is always equal to a string containing customer ID. So this will always evaluate to true. And that happened for all of the rest of the fields. Look at that. Oops. Come over here. Initial formatting. Look at that. See? All right. So we have to delete these all one at a time. Can't select them all because it has different rules technically. So delete. And okay. Open this one up. Delete. I know it's a pain, but this is a mistake that a lot of people make. So I wanted to make sure I included it in the video. Delete. All right. Initial formatting. Delete. And the last one over here. Oh, this one's fine too. Look, it left that one alone. Weird stuff. Access does weird stuff sometimes. Credit limit and customer ID are fine. These guys in the middle got changed. All right, but this is the format that I want, right? I want the field customer ID equals customer ID. So I'm going to copy that copy. And then we're going to apply it to these ones over here. All right, conditional formatting, new rule. We're going to go expression is, and then we're going to paste that in there and then hit OK, hit OK. All right, save it, close it, open it, and uh, still not working right. It's still showing all of these as highlighted. Why is that? These aren't showing up at all. And these ones over here, they're all highlighted. What's going on? Well, access evaluates each row at a time for conditional formatting. And in this particular case, customer ID is always going to be equal to customer ID in that field. So if you click on this row, yep, customer ID is equal to customer ID of that record, okay? So what we need is we need some way to independently keep track of which customer ID is selected. All right, let's put that value somewhere else. How about down here in the form footer? We'll stick it down here. All right, so whenever the user clicks on a record, set that value equal to, in this case, five. Now set it equal to 13. Then we can use that one to compare to the selected customer ID and see if they match. All right, so once again, let's go into here. Let's delete all those again. Come back in here, format, conditional formatting, and yeah, they're not, see, they're all slightly different. So now we gotta delete them all individually again. Pain in the butt, delete. I'm not gonna make you watch me do them all. All right, there's the last one. All right, so they're all clear again. Okay, now let's take customer ID, copy it, paste it down here. Okay, we're gonna hide this one eventually, but for now I wanna leave it visible. When I'm planning on hiding fields, I make them red. That way I can just, I know in the future it's gonna be hidden. Or when I go into design view, I can see the ones that are hidden fields. All right, now let's open up this guy and this is not going to be customer ID, so we're going to delete that. This will be an unbound field. It'll have its own value that we'll set, okay? You can't make that equal to customer ID because, again, every row will just, it'll, have, it'll be customer ID for every record. So that doesn't work. You can't bind that one. Let's call this one uh, selected ID, okay? Selected ID. Now save that, close it, close it, open it up. All right, it's a blank right now. What I want to do is when the user moves from record to record, I want to put the value of the current customer ID in there. When do we do that? What is an event that runs when you move from record to record? That's the on current event. And that's the one change I made from Scott's code. Scott was doing something very similar, but he was using the, uh, the got focus event for each field. And that's fine. That'll work. You just got to copy it in each field. On got focus runs once when you move from record to record. So we're going to double click here. Go to event, go to on current. That'll open up your VBA code editor, okay? And in here, literally all you have to say is selected ID equals customer ID. So now when you move from record to record, that selected ID will be set to whatever record you're on. Save it, close it, close it, close it, and let's open it back up again. Okay, now it says one. Click over here, it says six. Click here, it says 10. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to compare the customer ID to the value in that box in our conditional formatting. Design view. Let's select them all. Format, conditional formatting, new rule. Expression is, 
And we're going to use our brackets here. All right. Selected ID equals customer ID. And let's make this yellow. But let's change it to a lighter yellow. You'll see why in a second. Go to more colors. Let's make it like that yellow. All right. Because we're going to make the field that you're on a little bit darker yellow. Hit OK. Hit OK. Save it. Close it. Open it. Ah, look at that. See? Look at that. The row that you're on, the on current event fires, sets that value down there. Then the conditional formatting for each field looks to say, hey, is customer ID equal to selected ID? And in that case, it is. So it lights them all up. Is this customer ID equal to that selected ID? No, it's not. So it doesn't light those ones up. All right, now let's go back into here, design view. Let's make it so the selected field is darker. So the whole row will be light yellow and the field that you're on will be dark yellow. That'll be cool to watch. Select it, format, conditional formatting, new rule, has focus, and now we'll go with that darker yellow. That. Hit OK. All right, we got two rules here, right? Hit OK. Save it, close it, open it, and wait a minute, why is it not working? What's going on? Can anyone figure it out? Pause the video right now and figure it out. All right, you figure it out yet? Design view, select them all, go back into conditional formatting. All right, it's the rule, the order that they're shown in. Okay, with access, once a condition is met, it stops running. All right. I know Excel has a, an option so that you can continue running more rules and then stop when you want to, not in access. So basically, all we have to do here is take this guy and move it up like that. So it has a higher priority. This one will stop after it, after it selects the one that's got focus. And if this one doesn't run, it moves to the next one. OK, hit OK, save it, close it, open it. And there we go. And as I tab, tab tab you can see how it's working nicely now and that is how you select the whole row and additionally the field that you're in as well if you want to learn a lot more about conditional formatting i cover this and a lot more advanced stuff about conditional formatting in my microsoft access expert level 19 class and if you enjoy this programming stuff, I got a whole series of developer lessons that are available. I got like 40 some of them right now. There's lots. And I, I make, make a new one every month. So check them out. Thanks again to Frank for the question and for Scott for posting a timely answer. That's awesome. Like I said, my moderators, are they're, they're fantastic. Second to none. Best of any website that I've ever been on. My guys. Yes. So you got questions? Post them on my site. <laughs> but that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. 
But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.